What's going on everybody? This is Mehul and welcome to your 41st HTML and CSS tutorial. I know it's been a while since I created a tutorial in this series. I was just occupied with some other stuff but I'm just gonna extend this series a little bit again so that we cover most of the topics we have left so far in the HTML and CSS. So this tutorial focuses on floats using floats in CSS. Now so far we developed this um, web page right here and this is the style sheet we have been using floats but we didn't talk about it like professionally so let's take a look professionally how floats work so in CSS you can imagine just floats like being you know just placing elements on the screen here and there basically left and right so I'm just gonna create a div real soon div1 div2 div3 and I'm just gonna go to style sheet and move everything right here and just make it a width of 400 pixel height of 400 as well so background red okay uh, div 2 should be green and div 3 should be blue why not so here you see three big rectangles so let's apply some floats here let's say I want this to float left I want this to float right and as you can see what happens is we have no green so where's the green well if you look at the source code you'll see that this is the one and div 2 is just behind it so what happens is when you set a float on an any element then it would carry on its floats unless any other element has its own float or you have cleared the floats so let me just show you that I'll just bind this in a top diff okay and then I'm just gonna say top div and I'm just not gonna add anything I'm just gonna show you that the parent element is of width of height 400 only so you see this is of height 400 only right here you see I'm just gonna zoom in the cursor just keep looking here so you see that it's 1583 by 400 and that only because of this div 2 if I remove this div 2 then you see that these two come in a line and the parent collapses to height 0 now why this happens is because as I told you these floats would carry on adding their elements you know to their float directions only so like if you write any other text here like you say this text shall not be visible to user but if I make it really really long then you might see it a little little bit and if I reload this then you see that <laughs> it is actually visible and why this is visible is because of this div2 the moment I remove this you see that this text comes between these two and what was supposed to happen is that this text should be right here underneath these two blocks and this happens because of these floats so this div1 floats to left div3 floats to right and this p tag also is occupying the top position so that is why the parent has no height so this p tag starts from the top of the document to fix this what we make use of is something known as a clear so clear clears the float so if i have like i do like div class clear and div and i write right here div dot clear clear both 
All right. So now if I take a look here and reload this, you see that oh actually I just think just I'm just going to get rid of this div 2 actually. So you'd see that this appears here where it should. So clear what clear does is it would just clear your floats. So if I pick this clear and place it between div1 and div3 then what happens is that div1 and then the floats are clear and therefore this appears in a different line because obviously you know that div is a block element so it cannot appear it or you know it cannot appear by default uh, two divs cannot appear by default in a single line so what this clear does is just clears the float and then it starts as a new line so I'm just gonna place this here again and as you can see these two becomes in a successive line and if you just I'm just gonna add this another div and show you a real quick example again percent if you want to create like containers which are equi length you can say and reload this then you see that it's not very much effective because you need to apply a float to div as well now if I look at it then you see that these three boxes occupy the exact same position and you cannot do with div uh, without using floats one way is to use make use of display inline but that itself has some other things like you cannot have space between two div code and all that stuff but I would just recommend you to make use of floats so now when you have floated them now this div 1 floats to left div 2 floats to left and div 3 floats right well it doesn't even matter if you set this one to left as well because since they are occupying the full screen it doesn't matter but what happens if I reduce this width to a little bit and then I change this to right so now you see things this turns to right and with left this turns to left and if I gonna take this right and I'm gonna place this right then you see that these two interchange their positions and obviously you know the reason that this is div 2 this comes before div 3 so div 2 falls to right first and then div 3 follows the float of this div 2 and if you set this to left then as you can see you have switched the position of elements kind of so go ahead and try and play with these floats they are very useful for websites when you learn them and uh, that's it pretty much for this tutorial and i'll be teaching you some more interesting things in html css real soon like positions and how to make use of them and that's pretty much it so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then